What is going on everybody? This is Baron. We're going to be doing a video on the Crucible today on whether you should buy it or not. Now, we're going to go through just the actual ship itself and introduce it. Now, the Crucible is a um, repairing ship, so it can repair small ships. It can fit a Cutlass inside there. It can fit um, an F7 and I'm pretty sure the Gladiator. Now, as you can see, it's got a lot of it's got a lot going on. So it's got four two size four turrets. So you got one on the top of the cab here as well. You got VTOL thrusters. So you've got six time repair arms. You got four size twos, and you got two size sixes or size four. Sorry, and we'll go over that in a little while. So you got four main thrusters, two retro thrusters, 26 fixed maneuvering thrusters. Now, being that the Endeavor is going to get bigger, it's that's going to have more thrusters. But at the size it is at the moment, it's got less thrusters than the crucible so you got two large fuel tanks you got two large fuel intakes you got a large quantum drive large quantum uh, jump module large quantum fuel tank you got a large power supply or power plant you got a, two large coolers two large shield generators one large radar one medium computer and two small computers now you can you're going to need about three to eight people to man this or three to five people it all depends now ai eventually in the future will be able to help you with repairing ships but at the moment they can't now going over some of the basics on this now one of the questions i've seen around is can this detach from the actual garage now it that answer to that is yes so we can detach and go repair another ship with its two larger arms while people repair ships in the garage now it looks like these thrusters are also VTOL thrusters on the side here I'm guessing that's where these are supposed to be so that um, swivels around and it looks like they can go up and down depending on where you have to go I guess so the ship being the size it is at the moment can is about the same size as a Hercules now I've also heard this can fit more vehicles in it than what the M2 can and whether or not it can be used as a transport vehicle I'm not sure but it can hold more than the Hercules that is what I have heard so you can see what it is up against the Idris and the Polaris how big it is you can fit the Cutlass uh, the F7 and the Gladiator now obviously it's going to be wider hopefully because it says it can fit a cutlass in there but I think that might have been the smaller cutlass at the time maybe it was the larger cutlass so we're going to go over, have a look at the Q&A so it says yes you can leave the um, garage as you go to um, like repair larger ships like the Constellation as it says now there's if you want access to this I can leave a link down to it in the description it says how long will it take to you know repair a heavily damaged Hornet two to three minutes which isn't too bad it's actually pretty good so going to say if you want to buy this ship it's going to cost you around 350 to 400 US dollars depending on what you really want to do with it and what task you want to partake if you want to partake in with an Endeavour and being a repair ship there uh, if you want to go with a fully manned Idris or a Polaris depending on what you really want to do with this ship and where you want to take it if you want to charge people for repairing if you want to hire it out to people and let them use it so yeah there you go three to eight people it has a lot of uses it does have 230 SEU so that's not too bad that's pretty good you could use it um, to have a few like obviously you have components in the SCU I'm gonna guess that's why it has things like that so you can have components you can have uh, tools and whatnot to help repair so going over to the jump point magazine there's not much in here at the moment it has frozen um, so there's not much on the jump point magazine it just goes over the basic designs and the concept that they had gone through to get the design that they had um, I haven't found much information in here mostly most of the information on the ship is public but you can try and find more information now it's 90 meters long 50 meter beam 20 meter height it's a large ship 3.6 million uh, mass 230 cargo three minimum crew eight maximum crew and whatnot now like I said if you want to get this ship you might have to wait but if you are a pledger and you are part of the chairman's club you can buy the tycoon pack just whether or not you want to spend that much money to get it now as you can see the two larger arms here so the uh, where is it I have lost it I have lost it uh, so if you go to the technical overview is it the technical overview yes the technical the hard points you can see it's got 
two size 4 arms and four size 2. You've got two size 4 turrets. Now the reason being, you've got four size 2 arms inside of a pair of smaller ships and they go up and down traverse and you've got two larger arms which sit on the inside of the outside arms and as you can see here you've got a crucible without a garage with it so they must have left it somewhere now like you can see here they're repairing the ship but it did say you can't use two crucibles but it looks like they may be bringing that option in at a later date I'm not 100% sure so they call it yeah, the flying toolbox pretty much because obviously you can repair ships it's just a toolbox on uh, on thrusters pretty much so like I said if you want to get one of these you could use it alongside your endeavor you could use it alongside your reclaimer so you could take salvaged parts or salvage um, anything at the endeavor do research overclock components or um, you could use them to repair other components on your crucible now saying that you could probably use those repaired then components to go over to the endeavor to overclock them so it could work in tandem it, you could work them all together it just all depends on if that's going to be a function and if you could do that in the game loop it like I said all depends if you can't do that well then this is gonna have to be the other way but I don't see why you wouldn't be able to do that if you understand what I'm talking about yes you can't fabricate components but you can um, repair components that already exist so you could then take those repaired components to the endeavor put them use the super collider and overclock those components and then have them to sell or use on another ship later on so it says are there any gameplay with multiple crucibles be working on it in unison the crucible is capable of repairing a majority of damages attained by a ship we do not have multiple crucible gameplay in our plans of the near future but we are looking ahead for scenarios where multiple ships might uh, might more quickly repair a crippled larger capital ship. So it's pretty much the same thing, but it's a little bit different. But um, yeah, if you're looking at getting this ship, definitely worth the money. I don't know if I'm going to get one as of yet. I might just leave it because other people I know are getting one. So if you are looking to get it, then I wouldn't question it, but just have a look at what you're, you want to do with your fleet and if you really do need it and if it's something that you necessarily need and it's not something you just want. But I hope you enjoyed this. Hope to help Leah. Check out our Discord. Check out all the links in the description uh, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Peace.